What are you saying, Jake? You knew this would happen? Because of the nature of this film, you know, with, a, with this alien clan, this alien culture, you know, we had a choice. We could do it with makeup, like it's always been done, you know, rubber appliance makeup. It would have looked horrible and it would have been boring and stupid and, you know, kind of blue actors running around in the rainforest in their underwear, you know, and a bunch of blue body paint. It would look terrible. Uh, and I wasn't interested in that. You know, if I was going to do this, I wanted to do it this way, which is with performance capture. But before he could do that, Cameron first had to make sure his technology could cross what's known in robotics and animation as the uncanny valley. Let's say this is an absolute human uh, and this is a, you know, kind of a talking moose. You know, as you approach human, our attraction to the character goes down. And then at the last second, just when you get to a true human look, it goes back up. Well, we needed to get on the far side of that dip in the response curve, which is called the Uncanny Valley. And we needed to get to the opposite side, where we believed... We don't have to necessarily believe that it's 100% photoreal, and we don't have to necessarily, necessarily believe that they actually exist, but we have to believe in them as emotional creatures. And so we came up with the, um, the head rig. We call it the head rig. It's basically just a, a kind of helmet, very tight, conformal kind of skull cap that's based on a, on a uh, life cast of the actor's head and a laser scan. So it fits very tightly and smoothly and comfortably. And then, uh, you know, there's a carbon fiber boom that comes out with a little camera on the front of it. And that camera shoots the face in a nulled out close up. So even though, though the actor's moving all around, running, jumping, yelling, screaming, jumping off stuff, jumping over logs, you know, running flat out, whatever, we're getting that facial performance absolutely locked off. And from that, they were able to record every facial movement, from the actor's lips to their eyes. And that proved to exactly be the, the, the kind of holy grail approach to how to do uh, CG faces, not the stuff that they'd done before, which is what we call marker-based, or now uh, image-based. We got the best animators in the world to take all this data that was coming out of our performance captures, and then we limited their options to things that were value-added, like the ears and the tails. So they took a human performance with no diminishment whatsoever, and then added to it. So when people ask me, you know, sort of what percentage of the actor's performance came through in the final character, I say 110%, because you actually had an increase